it's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The professionals are quaking in their boots. With the many videos out there of people that excel in their sport, there's a series as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to the third week of May 2021st edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire. So far, we're doing okay. We got an 86 in 1 and 87 in 2. Can we do better? Or is it going to be more or less the same? Let's find out. Game 3 frame 1 ball 1. Due to this place playing music, most of the audio will be muted. Ball two. Once again, off to one of those flying starts. Ball three. Well, this isn't looking very good, is it? Well, things could have been a lot worse, so we got a 7. And for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Bullmore taking care of the other 3. And now, a fresh set of 10, here they come, and there you go. Frame 2, ball 1. That could have ended a lot worse. Let's see if we can do better. Ball two, welcome to Masons. It's beginning to look like one of those games. Ball three. Can we pull off at least another halfway decent finish? Surprise, surprise, the answer is no. Six. Just like that last ball, this game so far is in the gutter. Got a 7 and 1, 6 and 2, lucky 13. Yeah, that came out just as well as this game is going. Ball 2. A good ball. Spare leave with good wood. Almost got robbed of the spare, but we got it. Frame four, ball one, El Stinko. What will the bonus be? Let's find out. Hopefully it's a good one. El Stinko did its usual thing. One fill. Ball two. And you wonder why it's called El Stinko the bonus ball. Are we looking at another curse of the fill? Not this time. Niner. These two frames actually went pretty well. We got a spare in three and a nine in four. The only bad thing there was El Stinko, the bonus ball living up to its name with a one fill. Once again, Larry Bird. Frame 5.1. Some slow improvements, but improvements nonetheless. Um, did I say improvements? I meant to say back to normal. Ball 2. If you can get a spare off of this, as Dave Madela says, it's pretty when it goes. Ball 3. If we hit the head pin on the opposite side, could have went better. Getting a nine from a half whister, not bad. Frame six ball one. Hopefully, that is a sign of things to come. We go from one bad leave to another. Ball two. The good thing is, at least this leave has a better chance of becoming a spare. 
Then if you don't get the spare, you have a better chance of getting a better out. The Bowling God's middle finger remains for nine. Both those frames had horrendous leaves, but ended with a halfway decent out, with a pair of nines in each five and six, 51. Frame seven, ball one. Now we need good results and good leaves from the first ball. Well, it could be worse. At least we can get something out of this. Ball three. Not a fan of that cluster of six. Even a head pin shot will ruin it. Still managed to get an eight. Maybe this time, we'll have something that we can take care of easily. Ball two. Finally, a good first ball. Let's see if we can spare it up. Ball three. Single pins are pretty hard to get. If we capped that wood on the right, we could have spared it. One ball too late. Ten. Those two frames went okay. We got an eight and seven and a ten and eight. Could have been a spare if ball two hit the pin instead of three. We're at 69. Let's see if this game can end well. Ball two. This is a fairly makeable spare. Piece of wood to help guide the ball in. Now it would help if aim was a thing. Again, one ball too late. Ten. Last frame ball one. Imagine the score if those two tens were actually spares. Ball two. There's that ugly gang of six again. You know these usually don't end well. Once again, aim would help, albeit not much. Hey look, it's the impossible leave that Dave Madalas says is impossible. Six. Kind of a mixed bag here. We got the ten and nine, could have been a spare, one ball too late. And then, lousy luck with a six, we end with an 85. And that wraps up this game for the third week of May 20, 21st edition of Watch Me Suck It Bowling. From Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire, this is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.